What you're about to see is Magnus Carlsen losing in 26 seconds. This is a bullet game between Carlsen and Daniel Naroditsky. On Lee Chess at the time of the game, Magnus Carlsen has a rating of 3068. Daniel Naroditsky has a rating of 3046. So let's see what happened in this amazing bullet game. Both sides get one minute on the clock. If you are new here, hello, my name is William. I create chess videos. And in this one, we're going to see Magnus Carlsen get crushed in 26 seconds. E4, E5. D4, we have the center game. Take, take. Knight C6 attacking the queen. The queen can retreat to E3. It can go back to D3. If It can even go back to D1. But in this game, Carlsen played queen C4. This move looks a bit weird because normally in these king pawn openings, the bishop can come out to C4. It just feels really weird to put the queen there. Knight f6, attacking the pawn, maybe black can go d5 in the future, knight c3, bishop b4, pinning the knight to the king, bishop d2, castle, castle. Seven moves in, already this promises to be a very exciting game because we have opposite side castling. Rook e8, attacking the pawn, with the knight and the rook, so black might play bishop takes knight, but Carlsen defends it with f3. You've got your pawn chain going on white squares, white might go g4, g5 to attack the knight. d6 getting the bishop out. g4, bishop e6. This is the second tempo gain on the queen. The first tempo gain was right on move three. Knight c6 attacking the queen. Now we have bishop e6. So black has got a second piece out whilst attacking the white queen. Is this such a good opening for white? Queen back to e2, knight d4, a third tempo gain. Attacking the queen, queen goes to f2. If we check out all the minor pieces, black has all four in the game. But these two are still at home. Black is fully developed, ready for the middle game. C5. Defending, knight and bishop. Also, the queen can come out. A3 attacking the bishop. Black does not move it. He plays queen a5. First question must be, what happens if you take this bishop? Knight b1 was played. But what happens if you take it? Queen a1 check. Knight b1 and bishop a2. This knight is going to drop. And it is going to be mate very soon. If you go bishop c3, just giving your king some room. Check. King d2. And check. The entire... The entire white army is just collapsing. King e1. The rook is facing the king. So we can sacrifice with knight takes e4. Really cool move. If you take, then queen takes e4. Check. And you are just collecting everything. You're attacking king and rook at the same time. Game over. That's why after a3, queen a5, knight b1 was played. So Carlsen, he actually undevelops his knight. But it looks like it forces the bishops off. Take, take. White offers a queen trade. Black says no way. Black's got the attack. Black's got all his pieces out, so he just keeps the queen facing the king. I mean, look at all the minor pieces. Three pieces in the game. Carlsen has nine bishops still at home, and White has just undeveloped his knight. g5, knight d7. Planning to come to e5, that's why Carlsen now plays f4. Here comes a shocking blow, a wonderful blow by black. Pause the video now or let the timer run. Can you find a brilliant move for black to destroy the white position? The king and queen are forkable, so we can play bishop b3. Cannot take, because knight takes b3, and you win the queen. After bishop b3, if you play bishop d3, defending c2, also defending e4 because the rook was attacking it, now you go c4. You still can't take the bishop because we still have knight b3 check. Black attacks this bishop, take, and rook c8. Amazing move, because if you play this queen takes d4, maybe white is actually getting out, but black keeps up the pressure with rook c8. Same problem, you can't play this because knight takes b3 is a really cool, smothered checkmate. The king is totally trapped on c1. Normally you can play king b1, but there's a knight there. There's an undeveloped knight on b1. Bishop takes c4, rook c8, queen takes d4. White offers a queen trade. But black keeps up the pressure with rook takes c4. You cannot take because rook takes c2 is all of a sudden checkmate. How strange to get mated like this because there's a knight on b1 trapping white's king on c1. Rook takes c4 played, queen back to d3. 
Now is your second moment to pause the video or let the timer run. There's an absolutely brilliant way to crash through. Can you find it? You want rook takes c2 check to work, so you make it work. Brilliant sacrifice from black. Queen e3 check. Cannot take because rook c2 is mate. It's just been the problem the entire game. The king cannot go to b1. That's why after queen e3 check, white resigned. If you block with the rook, rook takes c2, check. If you take, you take, you just completely lost. Check. Winning the rook in the corner. After queen e3 check, if you block with the rook, rook takes check. If you go king d1, this is even worse because rook takes d2 is actually double check. From the rook and bishop, the king has to go to c1 and there are two mates here. You can play queen e1, mating on the back, or you can play rook d1, which is more elegant. It's a double checkmate. From the rook and the queen. Even though it's a bullet game, it was still very high quality. From Daniel Naroditsky. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like and subscribe to the channel at the same time. If you press the bell, that means YouTube will let you know when I release a new video. Have a nice week, and I'll see you later.